and DR Karthik and former director CBI and Ambassador Rajiv Dogra continue to stay with me. Ambassador Dogra, in your view, how difficult will it be for India to bring him back at a time when his lawyers claim that he was illegally removed from Antigua, illegally brought into Dominica as against the case in Dominica of illegal entry to that country, perhaps to escape to Cuba subsequently? Well, uh, that's a good question, Gaurav, and I think we have to analyze it uh, in a very rational, cool-minded way. The first thing is that, if my understanding is correct, the court, which is hearing the case today, has jurisdiction over six Caribbean countries. Besides Dominica, it also includes Antigua. So, uh, this court has civil and criminal jurisdiction uh, to hear cases of six Caribbean countries, as I said, including Antigua. The second thing to understand is, has Indian team engaged a lawyer who has indeed filed a case in this court that Choksi be ex uh, extradited to India? Uh, if it has not filed any such case, I don't know how the court will make a judgment in the matter. The case which has been filed, according to you and your uh, colleagues, is one about how Choksi landed up in Dominica and whether it was an abduction, kidnapping or whatever, uh, and whether uh, there, were, there were any signs of torture and so on. Okay. So the case is about Choksi landing up in Dominica and the judgment would have to be delivered on that particular issue. Unless India has filed a separate case, uh, which uh, all evidence uh, uh, suggests so far that that case has not been filed. Only documents have been filed. Documents have been filed. It okay, as you're saying, it remains to be seen what happens next. What happens, uh, Mr. Karthikeyan, once an Interpol red corner notice is given to a government? Now, will Dominica be honor-bound to send... Mehul Choksi to India because there is an Interpol red corner notice against him or can they on the basis of a, a, an Interpol yellow not notice send him back to Antigua? No, it is uh, understanding among all the nations to respect the red corner notice issued by the Interpol. Otherwise, you can't control the crime. Fugitives will commit crime in one country and go and disappear somewhere else with their spending lavish lifestyle, with the looted money. And there will be a lot of chaos in the whole world. The understanding is they will respect the red corner notice issued by India against the Indian national for he being a, becoming a fugitive. And then that's why he has been running around. I expect any decent government in any country to respect the red corner notice and send it back to the country on whose behalf Interpol issued the red corner notice. And, uh, and is, now the team is head led by a very, very a senior officer. Radha Raut is a very capable investigating officer okay. and of exception seniority. And he's thorough with the facts of the case. And the law is also very clear. I don't think this type of uh, um, petty allegations can uh, save them. And it's a question of prestige for India also. Because otherwise, what will happen? Every criminal will loot the money and go somewhere. Oh, and you can't be helpless. It's the sovereign right of India to get him back. That's and a very important country, point. Every decent country. That's a very important country. point you're making there. That's India's sovereign right. This man stands accused of serious financial fraud in India. It's the taxpayer's money. It's your money and my money that he's run away with and built a huge uh, a villa and a life in Antigua. So many.